Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, my name is Ken, and you're watching Ken's Cuts. Thanks a lot for stopping by. In today's edition, we've got a little road trip planned, uh, not something that I've done on a video before. Uh, a dear friend of mine has 27 acres on the other side of town, and he and I share a tree service. And when it's not something that I can normally use or have time to go pick up, uh, the tree service drops the wood over there at the farm. And I recently heard from Mike that he had some northern pecan come in that he doesn't have time to mess with. The tree service was hoping that he would split it small and season it so that he, the tree service, could actually sell it. Um, but that's not something Mike wants to do. So he offered it up to me. Um, I'm standing here in front of my little 5x10 trailer. I've got some plywood sides on it. I'm actually going to take off um, the top half of the panels so that we're not dropping uh, sticks of pecan in from four feet up. So that's what we got going on today. Uh, I'm gonna pull these panels down and we're gonna head on down the road. It's only a couple minutes from here. So until then, stick with me, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so that was a very quick trip. There wasn't even any time to set up video. Mike was out in the property with his tractor and when I got there, he had these put aside for me. There's a 10 footer. It's literally up against the gate, up against the plywood. This big monster here probably goes about 18 inches across. And that's about four or five feet. Then we have this big base piece here pretty large that's got to go almost 30 inches across but it's a nice length so I won't even have to do much with it the way it is I'll just have to noodle it down into a couple pieces and then run it through the splitter and then we got another couple pieces there's a about a five footer back in underneath you can see the one end of it it goes in under here so that's what we ended up with and uh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon so I'm actually gonna fire up this V066 and make hopefully make some quick work of this. So stick around. I'll show you what we got going on here in a few minutes.
Okay guys, so I'm going to get the tape measure. I'm down to the last two stump pieces. And I was guesstimating, you know, 28 to 30 inches. Uh, we're actually going to tape it. And it's 31 across the widest point. And 28 tall. So I was pretty close. So this sucker will get noodled at least in half. Because my box door splitter obviously doesn't have a lift on it. And I can tip the ram vertical. This one here is 20 inches at the narrowest. 24 across. And right now she's at 21. So I may actually put the gauge on this and cut it at 14 inches. And then uh, chunk up the last seven. Because this is too long to use it the way it is. So, let's get this all going, we'll finish this off. say that's some of the prettiest smoking wood I think I've ever cut look at the grain on that almost too big of a shame to put it into a smoker but that's what these guys like so I got it noodled in half I think I'm just gonna leave it that way push it off the trailer leave it on a pallet until it's time to split I'll try not to crush the tripod This pecan is some of the densest wood. There we go. Missed the tripod by inches. I almost feel like doing a Mike Morgan, putting a, doing a water pop on some of this. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Look at that heart wood. Wow. Alright, here we go. Ah, close enough. Let's get the stick.
guys, so we're all caught up. There's the carnage. Nice pile of noodles. Oh, 66. Still got a quarter tank of gas left, believe it or not. She was eating pretty good today. And we got two piles that I've put together real quick. One pile here. One of the noodle halves. Another trunk piece. And then, believe it or not, these rounds on the top that are 10 to 12 inches, that was actually limb wood. This wood was actually the first of four trees that's coming down for a customer. They only took the one down. I guess it was a problem child. And then the owner's gonna decide when he wants to bring the rest of them down. This is the second pile. There's the other noodle half. Another trunk piece in there. And then some cutoffs. We've got a wide crotchy piece here on the top. A couple of cookies that I will be chunking into small pieces for personal use for my Weber kettle. Can't wait to put this stuff to use later this this fall. It's gonna take a little bit of time for this pecan to dry out. But anyway, that's what we got going on today. That's the end of the carnage. I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna go get a pallet and get this stuff off the ground. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you enjoyed this content. Uh, for me, this is a first, uh, making a road trip to pick up some pecan. Uh, tree service calls it northern pecan I'm not sure what the difference is but to me pecan is pecan and I've got customers that would give their left hand for it so um, I'm gonna get this stuff split up put up onto a pallet and we'll check the moisture content in a future video uh, when we get it split and then try and gauge how long it's gonna take um, this stuff is heavy it's dense kind of reminds me of beech nut um, it's about that that density um, but it's a little bit stringy from what I understand so we will see uh, when we start splitting it up in a future video but as always guys thanks a lot for watching if you like this kind of stuff please go ahead and hit the subscribe button doesn't cost you a penny hit that like button drop a comment down below let me know what you think of this score and until next Sunday have a good week and we'll catch you on the next one take care everybody Beautiful pile of pecan, if I do say so myself.